His barrister says he's been publicly vilified at every step in the justice system. But today, Jared Haynes' victim described how her life has changed since they met at her Newcastle home in 2018. My life has been launched into what feels like a never-ending nightmare. To this day, I still have not been able to move on or feel any sense of peace in my life. A jury found him guilty of two counts of sexual intercourse without consent, reflecting digital and oral intercourse for about 30 seconds despite the woman saying no. In an impact statement read by the prosecutor, she said media coverage and social media commentary has been difficult to handle. Those types of things don't just hurt, but they stay with me. She used to feel like the world was at her feet. I am stronger and I am wiser, but I am damaged and I won't ever be the same person. Haynes' barrister said the nature and duration of the acts needed to be considered. He's been in effective isolation in custody and is only allowed to leave his cell for about 20 minutes a day. He can't even get a haircut because he's not allowed to mix with anyone. His barrister argued he's no longer the same person and now has a steady, loving relationship and cohesive family unit. Jared Haynes sat in the dock in Prison Greens listening as his lawyer argued for leniency. He was convicted of the same two charges at a previous trial and was sentenced to more than five years in prison before winning an appeal. Hayne will learn how long he'll be behind bars this time on Friday. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney.